Alright guys, well, in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to properly clean and protect your back glass. And what I mean by protecting your back glass is preventing all this from flaking off in the future. And the way we do the protection part is pretty easy. We just use Krylon's Triple Thick. See, look at that. That's all you need. But, one of the things you need to know, there is a couple steps prior to spraying on the Krylon. One of the first steps is obviously cleaning the back glass. If you go ahead and spray it on as it is, then you're going to be sealing in all this dirt that you see here. Now, sometimes a back glass is in such terrible shape or it's been flaking so badly that you don't have a choice and you can't clean it really. You're going to have to go ahead and just spray it if you want to save what's left of it. Not unless you go on to BG Restos or Restos, BGRestos.com. They can actually restore most of your back glasses. Uh, you have to send them pictures of the back glass, front and back of it, so that they can determine how much it would cost them to restore it. And they can't restore all of them. So if it's way too gone, well, you pretty much are looking for a new back glass. So, the first step is obviously cleaning it. There's a few different ways you can do it. Uh, I always use Windex. It works great for me. I've never had a single issue with it. And of course I use paper towel. Uh, depending on the back glass, sometimes I'll use a softer cloth, like a chamois cloth or anything like that, or a microfiber cloth, whichever. But the key thing is, if you're going to use paper towel, is you don't put a lot of pressure down on the glass, alright? You want to be gentle with it, especially when you're on the back side. If you're on the back side, since paper towel is pretty coarse, it could remove some of this artwork, and you don't want that, obviously. When you're on the front side of it, you put too much pressure down, the paper towel can actually cause micro scratches, where if you look really close, you will see it, and it looks ugly. So, just gently use the paper towel, or use a microfiber towel. The way I do this is I'll just go ahead and just spray the glass with my glass cleaner here. Just get it covered up real nice. You want everything clean. You want the whole thing, every square inch of it. This is what works the best. And we're just going to very gently clean this up. It may take more than one round with a uh, glass cleaner and everything, which is fine. And again, that's all going to depend on how bad your back glass is. This one is actually in really good shape. So I really don't have to worry about peeling up any of this artwork. It should come out perfectly fine, to be honest with you. But you still want to be careful. Take your time and very gently clean this. As you can already see, it's coming up pretty nicely. We still got some pretty hard stuck on dirt. So we're going to go through it a second time. Let's see, here we go. There's the first round of it. It's already looking a lot better than it did before. And again, like I mentioned before, don't put a lot of pressure. You know, I'm not pushing down very hard. I'm just going over the same spot a few times, and that's going to help loosen a lot of this dirt up. I mean, look at that rag. Ugh, nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So I'm going to flip my rag around so that it's on a cleaner spot, and I'm going to put another round of cleaner on it. I put it on heavy until it's, I know it's perfectly clean. Once it's perfectly clean, then I'll just spray a completely clean piece of paper towel or rag, and then go over it one last time to make sure there's no dirty streaks and everything on it. Just like so. Now look at that. Now that's looking beautiful. Yes, that is. That is gorgeous. All that dirt is coming right off. And again, you don't need to put a lot of pressure down. Because if you do, you're going to possibly cause yourself bigger problems. 
Especially if you plan on selling it. I mean, nobody likes to have a back glass that's all messed up and flaking away. Alright, round two of that. Still pretty nasty. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get a clean piece of paper toweling. I'm going to spray the Windex directly onto the paper towel here. And then I'm going to go over it lightly one last time. Just to make sure I get all the streaks, all the loose dirt, anything left behind from the dirty paper towel. You don't want to seal this up with a bunch of dirt and everything in there. Because all that dirt is going to prevent any good light to come through. Alright, so there we go. We got our back glass completely clean. Well, on the back side. We haven't done the front side yet. I'll show you that after we seal this. So now that it's all clean, what we're going to do now is tape up these little windows here. That's where the score displays project through. Alright, so let me readjust the camera so you can see a little bit better. And we're going to get those covered up <clears throat> with some painter's tape. Alright, so we'll be right back. Alright, so... Now, the reason we need to cover these little windows up is because the Krylon Triple Thick, if you spray it over these windows, it's going to make it foggy. So, when you look at your score displays as you're playing or anything like that, you'll still be able to see it, but it'll have like a, a, a haze to it, or like a fogginess. And that's because of the Triple Thick. So what I do, is I take just regular painter's tape and then I'm going to cut the end which I've already pre-done so it's a nice straight line and I do two different pieces of tape what I do is pull my tape out just a little bit it doesn't have to be the whole thing all right and just cut it off now I'll take the flat end and I'll put it right on the edge of where the flat side is, just like so. And then very carefully try and cover that whole little window. Well, it's not the whole thing, it's part of it, like half. The reason I do that, because then I'll take the tape that I've cut off by hand, and I will make it as straight of a cut as I can with my scissors. That just makes it easier... So, you can do the exact same procedure, pull a little bit of tape out, break it with your hand. Alright, <clears throat> there we go. So now, that's completely covered, <clears throat> and I'm going to do the other three windows off camera, because it's the same procedure as this. And once they're all covered up, I'm going to go ahead and go through and start spraying this. So we'll be right back. The next step is to spray on our Krylon Triple Thick. Make sure you got it all shooken up good, and you're just going to kind of go back and forth or at an angle, whichever way you prefer, and just cover every inch of the back glass, like so. kind of check on it look at different angles get some lighting on it just to make sure you got it all covered evenly and I've got it covered all right so from here we're just gonna go ahead and let this dry depending on what you get I mean if you actually get the Krylon triple thick I'd give this about 20 or 30 minutes to dry before you put on the second coat you can put a second coat on earlier if you really want to it's not gonna hurt anything but uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and just let this dry, and then we'll see where we're at after that. So we'll be right back, guys. It's all dry now. We don't have to worry about anything. The only thing is, 
Uh, well, actually, I don't have to put another coat on. This is perfect for what I need. So now we're going to go ahead and remove our tape covering our windows up. And then we'll flip the glass over, clean the other side, and we're going to be completely done. And we'll have our glass clean and protected from any flaking in the future. So, we'll go ahead and get this all taken off. You just really carefully peel one of the corners up on your tape. And just slowly peel the tape off. Just like so. You want to go kind of swell. You don't want to just rip it right off like a band-aid kind of thing because you clear coat it right over the top of this. And you go too quickly, then it's going to peel some of the clear coat off on the sides or possibly peel up some of your artwork. But there's that. So now we're going to go ahead and just flip this glass over real quick on this piece of foam I got. And we're going to clean the other side of the glass. It's pretty filthy over here too, as you can see. It's it's nasty. And it'll be the same process as before. We'll take our paper towel or chamois cloth, whichever you prefer, and you spray the glass down. And we're gonna clean her up. Okay. So I'll go ahead and give this a nice little wipe down. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab a nice clean piece of paper towel here. And like I mentioned already, you're just going to spray the paper towel. You don't have to go super heavy. Just need enough to be able to come through and give it some final passes. Alright. That's it. Glass is nice and clean and it's protected. So that's how you go ahead and clean and preserve or protect your back glass. So other than that, the last thing to really do is install it back into the game. Well, I hope you guys learned something here. And if you liked it, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one now.